Innova, the industry leader in diagnostic tools and equipment for the past 30 years, is now offering repair solutions, an incredible online service aimed to help you diagnose, repair, and maintain your vehicle. Premium members on Repair Solutions will have access to verified fixes provided by actual factory trained technicians, step-by-step -step instructions to help guide you through the repair process, and even how-to videos to demonstrate each repair. For more information, please visit us at Innova.com. service repair vehicle is a 2000 Honda Civic and we're going to be replacing this little power steering pressure switch. It's only going to require two 17 millimeter wrenches. Before we get started I want to explain to you that you can easily take a small job and make it a huge job. What happens is our pressure switch sets right here and if we go in with our wrench we can actually destroy our power steering line. So we want to be cautious about breaking our line. As you can see, we can catch our power steering line and our sensor. What we want to do is we only want to catch our sensor here and avoid destroying our power steering. So what we want to do is you want to be really cautious about removing the power steering pressure switch. What happens is we come in here and we can easily destroy that power steering hose. What we want to do is we want to use a thin wrench on our top where we can actually remove the power steering switch easily. We want to secure our bottom hose so we can hold both and turn this out easily. So let's go ahead and get started. Our power steering pressure switch is located right under our intake. First thing we're going to do is we're going to remove our connection and now we're going to get our wrenches and remove it. So I've laid out the wrenches for you to see. We have one on our power steering pressure switch and we have one on our power steering hose. Now what we're going to do is we're going to loosen our power steering switch. Once we've loosened up our power steering pressure switch we can just screw it up out of there. So what we want to do is once we remove our part we want to compare it to our replacement part. We want to make sure that our fittings the same and our electrical connections are the same. Everything looks good, so we're going to go ahead and reinstall our replacement part. Once we get it started, we're going to want to tighten it down. Now that we've tightened up our pressure switch, what we want to do is we want to connect our electrical connection, make sure it's tight. We're also going to want to check our power steering fluid. Look inside, make sure it's up to level everything looks good and that would complete the installation of our power steering sensor. Visit us at innova.com and subscribe to Repair Solution Services.